what is up guys welcome back i know i know it's been a minute but hopefully this video will make up for my absence i promise you i have been busy and if you're not following me on social media specifically on instagram then you are missing a lot but what i wanted to do today is give you some tips for how to begin to grow an organic personal brand on social media whether you want to grow as a professional business or if you just want to you know get your name out there and market yourself for different projects and things that you're working on it is so important to have a personal brand on social media nowadays listen we all know about covid it's serious it's happening and a lot of people's jobs are being impacted because of this pandemic actually that's hit the country that's hit the world right so during this time people are being forced to stay home and figure out alternatives for how they can make money from their homes. Successful personal brands are those that are able to make money from anywhere. The very first step that I wanna tell you in growing a personal brand is identify your target audience. You wanna figure out who you're going to be talking to as you grow and as you begin to create content. Definitely wanna have a clear understanding about the people you're going to be speaking to through your content. Identify the gender, where do they live, their social status, their financial status. I actually tell people to personify their ideal clients or their ideal audiences because in doing so, it really makes it a lot easier for you to create your content for that person. And right along with identifying your target audience, you want to identify your niche. And by niche, I mean what field do you want to go into? Are you going to be doing the beauty niche? Are you going to be doing the business niche? Lifestyle, which is a little bit of a few things combined into one that kind of complements each other. It's really important to identify your niche so that you're not attracting the wrong people who like the things that you don't actually intend to create content around. That's super important. And once you identify your niche and your target audience, then you wanna think about where on social media are you gonna be sharing your content? I always tell my clients to use at least two platforms. I usually like to use YouTube and Instagram, um, but I also have a third one, which is Facebook, that I like to you know, move my content around on. If you're a blogger, then you definitely want your blog to be one platform. And then you can also use something like Instagram or even YouTube if you feel so inclined. It's totally up to you, but you do wanna have at least two platforms that you're sharing your content on religiously. You want people who are following your YouTube to trickle over onto your Instagram or people who are following your Instagram to trickle over and follow your blog because the biggest thing that we can do is create engaged audiences on all of our platforms and get them excited about your content even when you're not around. Now my next tip is one that may startle some people and some people may think that it's not as important as other things. I happen to think that it's extremely important and that is to identify how your content is going to be portrayed. It is important to you know, really speak to who you are and show your personality and how you share your content. You wanna give people an expectation of what kind of feeling they will have when they're on your platform Platform. It has a feel that speaks to the brand that you're trying to create. This is so important because it allows your posts to kind of speak for themselves. And my last tip is to create content that speaks to your audience in such a way that they share it with their communities and their networks. If you're a content creator, you want to be sharing really, really high quality, valuable content. Guys, believe it or not, I actually launched Influencer Society in January of this year, and I've already gotten over a thousand followers over there on that Instagram page and that's huge to me and speaks to the value of the content that I am curating over there and it really makes me proud because it lets me know that not only do I teach other people how to get success on social media but I'm actually applying that same thing for myself I'm a product of my products and that makes me so yeah. proud those are my top three tips for how to become successful and grow organically on social media no matter what platform that you're on if you're interested and you need some additional notes on this I actually created a free checklist if you want to get your hands on it all you have to do is click right here or down below in the info box to get a copy I hope this was helpful to you if it was don't forget to like this video and definitely leave a comment down below let me know which tip you really want to continue to work harder on and of course don't forget to follow me over on instagram thank you guys so much for watching this video until next time i'll see you later bye